Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Matrix Cubed. Yep, sorry, it's been a while, maybe about a week or so since I last recorded episodes between family vacation and getting lost in blue registered for college. But anyway, we are in the historical museum which was hidden in the desert south of Los Angeles and we've just rescued Steffi from Ram and the individual we thought was Dr. Che took a bullet for so to speak for Steffi but then he got back up apparently undamaged, so we're not entirely sure what's going on yet. But he's asked us to go back to the broom closet where we first found him. So we're going to do that. We are kind of down on hit points, but fortunately, we do at least have all our heavy weapons equipped. Oop, Ram Patrol sniffs you out. They attack! Okay. Oh, let's... Yeah. I still half remember the fantasy-based gold box game commands, which are slightly different. At least there's no robots in this one. Okay. Try there. I think everybody just has rocket launchers equipped, so... That makes it easy to remember the area of effect. And we're down to just a couple guys that are too close to use a rocket launcher against. And too close to use grenades against. So we get out the needle gun. Okay, well there's that one but just by himself. I love the bonus you get for using Mercurian level gear. Makes me feel a lot better about going with needle guns as our default weapon. I mean, they have a high rate of fire and an okay range, but back when we first started in Countdown to Doomsday, And just using the plain vanilla needle guns, the amount of damage they did each round was, I mean, they did with each shot was not that great. A couple of our characters do have spare rocket launchers, so we might swap those between characters as other rocket launchers get depleted. Actually, I want to have her use her mono sword instead.
Yeah, she just has a Martian rocket gun, any a Martian, uh, a Martian needle gun. Ouch! As does Lucita. Yeah, I didn't absolutely have to move Scotty, but oh well. Okay, that was the last one. So we'll re-equip his rocket launcher and a lot of healing going on. Oh yeah. Give you the credits. And we got demo charges. I'll try having Nala take the demo charges. And then have everybody re equip their heavy weapons. Probably after the next battle, we'll be doing some rocket launchers swapping around. Maybe. If not the next one, then surely the one after that. Let's double check to see what level we're at. Okay, we're at the we're at the right level. I mean the the default one. Wanted to make sure I hadn't inadvertently made it too easy for myself. Okay, I think Ram agents flood the hall from both directions. There she is! I shout. Jade grabs Steffi and pushes her through the northeast door, then charges the force to the east. What do you do? Okay. Uh, let's follow Steffi. You dash after Steffi. Do you barricade the door behind you? Yeah, you pile everything you can against the door knowing that it'll only hold for a short time. Okay, so now we're back in that broom closet. And we need to head north. The secret door that Chade told you about stands ajar. Do you go through the door? Okay, remember Step only on the prime, all others are mine. So let's go. Nala notices pressure sensors covering each of the risers. You realize that some of them must be inactive since Steffi came this way. And so we got some bonus experience. Do you step on the first riser? Yes. Nothing happens. Do you step on the second riser? Yes. Nothing happens. Do you step on the third riser? Yes. Do you step on the fourth riser? No. Do you step on the fifth riser? Yes. Nothing happens. Do you step on the sixth riser? No. Do you step on the seventh riser? Yes. 
Okay, now we're going to be skipping like three steps. How we're going to manage that, I don't know. No, we don't step on the 8th or the 9th or the 10th risers. Yes, we do step on the 11th. Not the 12th. We do step on the 13th. And now we skip all the way to the 17th. So we're skipping the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Once again, how we manage to skip that many steps, I have no idea, especially with Josita's short legs. Yes, you make it to the top of the stairs. And we get some bonus experience for remembering our prime numbers. And looking at the list in the clue book. Oh, well. Okay, so now we are on level two of the museum. I'll say that. And... Okay, the room to the south is an empty office. We can skip that. You hear the barricade you made being blown. Now, what about... Okay, the room, there's a room down at the end of that hallway. There's nobody there yet. Yet. Might be somebody there later. Go through this door to our left. This room is free from dust. Dishes are stacked neatly to one side, and other signs of recent use are all about. Okay. Hmm. Somebody's living quarters. A mattress is laid out in the southwest corner. The sheet's tucked in smartly. You notice an odd lump at one end of the mattress. Okay, let's try... Oh, well, let's... The mattress smells of perfume. Podcane finds a bundle of papers tied with a bit of wire. The papers contain diagrams for a fantastical fusion reactor chamber. You steal them in your pack. Congrats, the team gains experience. Okay, we'll save that. Ram agents are feverishly ransacking the room, caught between delight in the destruction they cause and frustration at not finding anything. What do you do? Do we retreat, watch, or attack? Let's attack. Okay. Looks like it's not that big a squad, actually. That looks good. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, crap. Oh.
There we go. Okay, now they're all clustered up there. Yeah, now we will. Okay, just those two left. Hmm. You know, a grenade would work, but maybe Josita should treat Scotty. Uh, dazzle grenades wouldn't help because I think these ram troops all have protective goggles. Okay, we just have the one Ram Warrior left. There we go. Okay, so Jorah's the only one that's not at full hit points right now. Oh, <laughs> now it actually has too many demo charges now. I suppose we could have somebody else hold the demo charges for now and then give them to Joran a bit. Okay, it's going to be after the next battle that we'll be starting to drop depleted rocket launchers. Maybe a couple of them. No, we don't want to take anything else. Okay. Yeah, if we had stayed and watched them trashing the room, then they would have had time to capture Steffi.
Ram forces fill the hall. They attack! Yeah. Basically, working on those jennies. Maybe there. That actually should work. Okay, the remaining units are too close to use rocket launchers on. And basically too intermingled with our people too use grenades on too. She doesn't have line of sight to that other guy. Oh, wait a minute. Mono sword. Oh, okay. Just going to use a needle gun anyway. And she's kind of stuck there, so I'm just going to have her re equip her rocket launcher early. Well, this is just a random battle anyway. We'll be done soon. Oh, we just did finish. Okay, well, we'll re-equip her rocket launcher. And Jorah's doing even a little bit better, although still not quite at full hit points. And just, you know, the usual demo charges left to pick up.
Yeah, I think I've got Scotty collecting them now. So anyway, after this, we need to go find where Steffi's hiding. Because we suspect that maybe she's the real Dr. Jade. <laughs> Try to get her out past all those ram troops. So, we will see you then.